Today's lecture is on the Great Saphenous Vein. Now, the Great Saphenous Vein is the longest vein in our body, and it is the superficial vein of the medial aspect of the lower extremity. The Great Saphenous Vein begins its course here on the dorsum of the foot at the dorsal venous arch, and begins by moving superficially and up the duration of the foot crosses anterior to the medial malleolus, continues up the duration of the leg, then passes behind the popliteal area, and re-emerges up here on the thigh, and continues its course all the way medially until it reaches the inguinal ligament. Now, there are five main tributaries to the great saphenous vein that I am pointing out here on this diagram. We have here the superficial circumflex iliac vein, the superficial lateral femoral vein, the superficial medial femoral vein, the superficial epigastric vein, and the external pudendal vein. Now, the great saphenous vein has some clinical significance as seeing it, it is so superficial on the body when varicose veins are present, typically the great saphenous vein is one that is able to be seen. Also, the great saphenous vein is used in cardiac procedures to perform bypasses, so it is frequently removed so as to be used for this procedure. And that is the great saphenous vein.